In a national broadcast on Sunday, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton said the authorities remain focused on the vector control program. He says the Ministry of Health and Wellness has stepped up its advanced vector control program. To include 1,000 temporary vector control workers employed to do public education and search and destroy activities in communities to eliminate breeding sites, expanded fogging program to kill the adult mosquitoes in high risk and other communities, and we have rolled out a public education campaign in all forms of media to educate and inform all members of the public on how to decrease their risk and treat the illness if they should become infected. We have partnered with the National Solid Waste Management Authority for Solid Waste Removal and the municipal corporations and MPs for vector control activities in communities across the country. The Ministry has also increased opening hours in some health centres up to 8pm and on Saturdays in other health centres. Provided free treatment for children under 12 years old at the University Hospital of the West Indies and activated emergency operation centres at the Ministry and in all parishes. Additional vehicles and fogging machines have been purchased and more resources allocated to MPs and various ministries and state agencies. Meanwhile, Australia's National Science Agency has developed a tool capable of tracing and predicting the spread of dengue fever. The tool draws on data from the International Air Transportation Association to track the spread of diseases. According to its data, the flight path between Puerto Rico and Florida in the United States has the highest number of dengue-infected travelers. It was reported that recent studies show about 92% of symptomatic infections are not reported to health authorities, mainly due to low awareness levels and misdiagnosis. Gabrielle Thompson, Frontline News.